Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a horror film, Love Object. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with Kenneth, an eager tech writer. He begins his day by exercising while printing some documents. Then he arrives early at work to submit his paperwork in advance and asks for another assignment. The boss is impressed and offers him a big project. Despite the limited time to finish it, he accepts the task. The boss introduces him to his layout assistant, Lisa. Kenneth prefers working alone, but the boss insists he collaborates with Lisa given the tight deadline. Kenneth has to adhere to him. He then drives home disappointingly. Later, he overhears a woman laughing in the hallway. He looks at the peephole and sees his landlord with a sexy woman. He feels intrigued, enters his closet to eavesdrop on the wall, and hears the woman moaning. The following day, Kenneth finds a card on his desk. His colleague approaches him and teases him to do the dirty deed with the woman. His colleagues mock him since it's not a real woman, but a blow-up doll named Nikki. His colleague then opens the computer and shows the site where Nikki is marketed. They read Nikki's features that can provide hormone pleasure. Kenneth seems interested in getting the doll. After that, his colleagues leave Kenneth dumbfounded on website. Suddenly, Lisa comes to get the draft, which startles him. She tries to make friends and asks him to guide her, but Kenneth looks distracted, so she leaves. The boss unsatisfyingly observes them from the window. The next scene shows Kenneth going into a shop that sells erotic stuff. A man with a creepy face suddenly turns around, which startles Kenneth. He then wakes up, sitting outside the company office. In the office, Kenneth gets attracted to Lisa. He gazes at her while she approaches the employees and gets ignored. Kenneth hears his colleagues introducing the doll to another man, but the card is not there. Apparently, he is holding it, so he immediately hides it. Later, Kenneth submits the manual, and his boss scolds him for not accomplishing what is expected on time. He then organizes his files and notices the card again. Later, he checks the website at home and explores it, which requires him to customize the doll's features. He then designs it according to Lisa's appearance. The following day, Kenneth is woken up by a phone call, verifying his online transaction that exceeds his bank limits. The delivery guy arrives and delivers the doll. The landlord sees him struggling to bring the huge package to his unit, so he asks what is in the box. Kenneth lies, saying that it's a refrigerator, but the landlord doubts it. Meanwhile, another tenant with his girlfriend arrives and gets intrigued by the box. When they discover that it is a refrigerator, they request to see it. So the landlord goes to get the tools, and the tenant, a detective, tells Kenneth to be careful as he finds the landlord suspicious. The landlord returns with his tools, but Kenneth manages to put the box inside. He immediately enters and closes the door. Kenneth unboxes it and puts the doll into his bed. He fascinatingly examines it and tum massages it until he reaches his hormone top. After that, Kenneth calls the company to report that he's unsatisfied with the product. He discovers that there is a CD of the instructions manual. It instructs him to make the doll like the person he desires. So as Kenneth interacts with Lisa in the office, he carefully observes her appearance and preferences, and then applies them to Nikki. He also tells Nikki about Lisa, as it's said to be the efficient way to make him feel satisfied. One day, Kenneth wakes up naked beside Nikki. Then he submits his draft and finds that the boss just fired Lisa, so he convinces the boss that he needs her. Kenneth follows Lisa, who is crying in the locker room. He tries to comfort her with his muscles, but Lisa is frustrated because she does not know how to do things and their colleagues hate her. So Kenneth assists and teaches her some techniques, making her feel calm and delighted. Later, Kenneth sits in his office, browsing the magazine about a dance manual that Lisa created. Suddenly, the boss confronts him about his intentions with Lisa. He warns him he will ruin the company and his image if he gets sued, suspecting that Kenneth might be sexually harassing Lisa. The next scene shows Kenneth in the erotic shop. He buys some props where the seller and a man look a bit creepy, with their faces having red marks, gazing at him. Kenneth sets up the bondage and straps where he hangs Nikki. He then dances with it while playing Lisa's favorite music and following the dance instruction Lisa made. He imagines dancing with Lisa. Afterward, Kenneth works cheerfully as their relationship develops. He gathers every bit of Lisa's physical features and then applies them to Nikki to make them look the same. One day, Kenneth notices Lisa's jacket and asks where she bought her clothes. After that, Kenneth brings corporate clothes and has Nikki wear them. He begins having a delusion as he speaks to Nikki and imagines it responding to him. They then watch a Daniel CC movie at home and later satisfy his hormone pleasure on the bed. He completely develops an imagined relationship with Nikki. The following day, Lisa gets hired and the boss congratulates them for their teamwork. So Lisa hugs Kenneth, which makes him feel delighted. One morning, Kenneth wakes up to his alarm and is shocked that he's handcuffed to Nikki. He goes to work later, and the cuff is still on his hand, so he removes them immediately. Moments later, the boss tells him he gets promoted, so he will now work in his new office. 
Lisa comes to his office and asks him to celebrate by getting new clothes. So Kenneth suggests a shop where he has bought Nikki's clothes. Lisa gets a new haircut, which resembles Nikki's, so Kenneth looks at her fascinatingly. After arriving home, Kenneth apologizes to Nikki. He explains and imaginatively hears Nikki responding. The next day, Kenneth is off to work when he sees Nikki holding a knife and all the printed stuff about Lisa is ripped. He then starts to display bizarre behavior. In the parking lot, Kenneth feels that Nikki is stalking him. So he sprints into the building and gets startled by Lisa, who resembles Nikki's look. He goes into his office hurriedly. Suddenly, the telephone rings. Kenneth answers and frustratingly yells to stop stalking him. Lisa enters the office, notices his behavior, and suggests he needs rest. She gives him her finished paperwork in advance so that he can take a rest and enjoy the weekend. After that, Kenneth watches another Daniel CC movie with Nikki at home. He speaks to the doll about ending their relationship. He argues with it, afraid it will tell Lisa about their relationship. Later, Kenneth calls the company to ask how to turn Nikki off as it starts dominating and commanding him to do horrible things. Suddenly, he hears Nikki calling him, so he immediately returns to the room. The following day, Kenneth wakes up handcuffed to Nikki. He carefully gets up and goes to the office to surprise Lisa with Chinese food, and they talk in the cafeteria. Then Kenneth confesses to her. Later that night, Kenneth wakes up and feels Nikki choking him. He freaks out and yells that he likes Lisa. He puts Nikki back into its crate, saying their hormone ship is over. The following day, Lisa moves to Kenneth's previous office, and he notices his workmates are getting along well with her. He feels jealous, so he asks Lisa to have dinner with him. After dinner and watching a movie, they head to Lisa's home. Kenneth plays the music and dances with her. They undress as they dance, which reminds him of Nikki dancing with him. They start doing some smelly workout on the bed, but he's too distracted. He does not feel pleasure but agitation, as he imagines Nikki while Lisa is doing it. Kenneth returns home. He opens the crate and gets shocked that Nikki is not there. He's frustrated, so he beats the doll, ties it to his bed, then stabs and chokes it. Meanwhile, the landlord hears him through the wall. He calls and interrupts him. So he puts Nikki in the bathtub and then cuts it into pieces. The landlord gets curious. He looks at the peephole and sees Kenneth taking something out of his unit. He gets intrigued as he sees a shoe fall on the ground. After that, Kenneth dumps the body and goes to Lisa. He apologizes for that night and tells her that it is because of Nikki who keeps stalking and attacking him. But Lisa has no idea that Nikki is not a person. Kenneth hands her the flower and they go to bed for another smelly workout. Afterward, Kenneth and Lisa are in the office, feeling glad about how their project helped improve their relationship. As Lisa opens the manual to look for something, she finds a card with Nikki's picture. Lisa gets shocked to see Nikki's appearance and how it resembled her. She then asks if he's just using her and making her look like his ex-girlfriend. Suddenly, she notices the back of the card and finds it is a rubber blow-up doll. Lisa freaks out and despises Kenneth. She walks out, and as he tries to chase her, the boss stops and confronts him, afraid the company will be implicated if he gets sued. He then hands him a notice not to approach Lisa, otherwise he will get terminated. Kenneth pretends he is concerned about the manual they need to accomplish, but the boss tells him to find a new girl instead. After that, Kenneth contacts the company that produces the doll. He tries to purchase another doll, but has exceeded his credit limit. He desperately returns to the dumpster, but the doll is already gone. He gets home looking dejected. The landlord approaches him, asking to pay the rent, but he ignores him. He sits down and listens to the voice messages, reminding him of his payment dues and the boss scolding him. The following day, Kenneth goes to work. Due to his scarcity of money, he tries to get his bonus in advance. The boss gets irritated and tells him he fails to fulfill his duty, then disappointingly fires him. After that, Kenneth waits for Lisa outside the office. He confronts her and gets violent as he tells her to convince the boss to bring him back. Lisa tries to fight back. Her head bumped into the wall and she lost consciousness. Kenneth is shocked to see some blood. The elevator rings and he hides as the guard approaches. Meanwhile, the landlord is browsing a magazine when he suddenly sees the blow-up doll and the box. He remembers Kenneth's package, so he calls his detective tenant and tries to report his suspicion that Kenneth murdered someone. The detective is annoyed as he's busy playing and tells the landlord to be sure. So the landlord changes his mind and studies the magazine. Subsequently, Lisa woke up on Kenneth's couch, wearing Nikki's seductive outfit. She gets up and notices the printed papers about her on the wall. Kenneth approaches and asks her to fix their relationship as if he's speaking to Nikki. Lisa feels anxious as she looks around and sees the bondage gears. Lisa tries to escape and reasons that she needs to accomplish the manual their boss needs. But Kenneth tells her he did it already and is currently sending them through email. Lisa tries to get away, but Kenneth catches her. 
He then gets annoyed. He gags her and ties her up while she cries. Meanwhile, the landlord looks at the magazine again and wants to confirm if it is a real woman. So he gets his extra key to Kenneth's. The landlord hesitates, but he hears some noise, so he knocks. Kenneth panics and warns Lisa, who is muffled screaming. He then turns off the light. The landlord decides to unlock Kenneth's door. He suddenly discovers Lisa, gagged and shackled, and immediately unchains her. She tells him to hurry as Kenneth will soon return. When they are about to escape, Kenneth returns and suddenly catches them. He strikes the landlord's head, killing him, and again ties Lisa up. Suddenly, the telephone rings. Kenneth hesitantly answers it. He delusionally speaks with Nikki on the phone, asking to start over again. Then he imagines hearing Nikki ordering him to do something. He immediately complies, drags the landlord's corpse into the bathtub, and cuts him with a chainsaw as he did to Nikki. Kenneth becomes highly obsessed with having Nikki again. So he transforms Lisa into a doll, injects her with embalming fluid, and dresses her in Nikki's outfit. He then tells Lisa how he studied preserving her body for Nikki. The telephone rings, and Kenneth answers it. Lisa immediately grabs the keyboard and sends the files to the print shop to expose his obsession with plastination. Kenneth notices her, so he irritatingly unchains Lisa and puts her in Nikki's box while telling her Nikki is right of warning him about a woman like her. Lisa screams that Nikki is not real and not alive, so he gagged her. He firmly believes that Nikki is real, then he slams the box. The following day, Kenneth wakes up and buys some stuff while Lisa is confined in the box, crying muffled. Meanwhile, the boss approaches their colleagues, asking for Lisa as they receive the manual on time. They get curious, since she's gone from the office for a week. Later, Kenneth returns home. He prepares Lisa and his tools, as he's about to conduct an operation on her. She screams as he cuts her clothes. Simultaneously, the detectives inspect the dumpster as they find the landlord's chopped body. The tenant detective discovers it is their landlord. He calls Kenneth, asking him if he notices something unusual, then tells him to be careful. Meanwhile, Kenneth ignores the voice message as he's busy experimenting on Lisa's body. Following the instructions on transforming Lisa into a doll, he then starts to replace her blood with the embalming fluid. Suddenly, Lisa manages to loosen the cuffs and tries to run off, but Kenneth catches her, so she grabs the statue and hits his head. As Kenneth tries to stab her, Lisa quickly grabs it and strikes him instead. Lisa is enraged and resents him. As she's about to stab him, the police suddenly arrive and shoot her. She then falls dead in Nikki's crate. The following day, Kenneth returns to work and is believed to be Lisa's victim. His boss welcomes him and hands him his bonus. In the final scene, Kenneth repurchases another Nikki. While buying flowers for Nikki, he gets attracted to the charming seller at the flower shop. It then implies that Kenneth's love triangle affair will soon begin again. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.